Good listeners, hear the unsaid. Listen with your eyes. Be the person you want to follow. Freemasonry indeed is a wonderful brotherhood, making good men better. Let's make it that point. Let us be better and improve ourselves in Masonry. Remember the first lesson we are taught to be good and be true. If you are waiting for a title to lead, you are not ready. Best teachers are lifelong students. You fight against a sense of entitlement. I am proud to be a member of Quezon City Lodge 122. I am proud to religiously attend our stated meeting as long as I can because I have been born, raised, initiated, passed and raised in this uh, lodge, and I will continue to be so a good soldier as others are doing so. I wish I knew years ago with the end in view that perhaps our chosen leaders in particular, as well as the brethren in general, may put to heart to concretize the first and foremost aim of the craft. Your Worshipful Installing Officer, the officers of this lodge, lately chosen, are present and ready to be installed with their respective offices. Your Worshipful Installing Officer, I take great pleasure in presenting to you Brother Ferdinand Mario Morales, who has been duly elected by this lodge to be its master for the ensuing Masonic year. Brethren of Quezon City Lodge number 122, you now behold before you Brother Ferdinand Mario Nesperos Morales, who has been elected Worshipful Master of this Lodge and is now about to be installed. If any one of you have any reason to urge as to why he should not be installed, you must make it now known or forever after hold your peace. To you is committed the superintendence of the Lodge in the hours of refreshment. It is therefore indispensably necessary that you should not only be temporary and discreet in the indulgence of your own inclination. These basic teachings are life lessons that we should keep in mind. Hoping in the years to come as we try to lead and be leaders in the future can be of help to us in carving also our success in this endeavor, especially in cremation. I congratulate you in your ascension, the time honored seat, the duties incumbent upon you, is incumbent upon your exalted position, is fraught with great responsibilities. I do most solemnly and sincerely vow, I do most solemnly and sincerely vow that I will maintain, that I will maintain, support and enforce, support and enforce the constitutions, the constitution, edicts and edicts, laws and regulations, laws and regulations, the most worshipful grand Lodge, the most worshipful grand Lodge, of free and accepted masons, of free and accepted masons of the Philippines, of the Philippines, the bylaws of my lodge, and the bylaws of my lodge, and will faithfully perform, and will faithfully perform the best of my ability, the best of my ability of the duties. Of the duties of the office of the office to which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Amen. Arise, my brother. Emblem of power. The hands of the master to be made 
as instrument of greater good or greater evil, we did if the man gets his lunch, with the welfare and prosperity and great trust, to depend upon its religious shoes. In your hands, I am confident. I do hereby proclaim the 2024-2025 elected and appointed officers of Quezon City Lodge number 122, Julie installed. Being installed as worst schoolmaster comes with a great responsibility to be able to lead and govern the lads under the principles of the craft. Brethren, I ask you to indulge with me with your patience and support. Together we can do it. Leaders whom I know will lead us to a better future for Quezon City 122. We have seen those uh, previous leaders, leaders who have proven themselves. I just long to see that in the near future, we'll have another Grandmaster from this lads. Thank you very much, Brett and Good evening.